I have very exciting videos to share today with you friends as today is a very big day for Tesla. It opened Giga Texas yesterday, did the grand opening, two weeks ago it did the Giga Berlin opening and now we're looking forward to see the ramp up of production. We have videos from our friend Tesla owner Silicon Valley on Twitter who sent this video, the robots in Giga Factory Austin will blow your mind says Tesla owner Silicon Valley Twitter. It's insane to see the engineering and manufacturing that Elon Musk and Tesla put together. We're truly excited to see it running at full capacity. Look what engineering Tesla is doing at Gigafactory Texas, the way it builds the Model Y electric vehicles. Gigafactory Texas is the latest Tesla product and it's going to take manufacturing and car production to the next level. I can't believe how big this place um, it was, says uh, Tesla owner Silicon Valley who uh, traveled to Giga Texas yesterday for the opening for the grand opening. So friends, uh, welcome back everyone. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel and help us to reach our goal of 100,000 subscribers. I would greatly appreciate it and will bring you Tesla news daily. Elon Musk marked the official start of production at Tesla's new Giga Texas plant in Austin saying it's the country's biggest factory by size uh, and will also be highest volume US auto plant when fully ramped up. So I'm going to bring you the ramp up numbers. Remember for Gigafactory Berlin, I published a story, a YouTube video about the ramp up production of uh, numbers that we're expected to see this year. I'm going to bring you the Giga Texas ramp up numbers once they are available. So you know how many cars Tesla is expected to produce per week at Giga Texas by the middle of the year and by the end of the year. So please subscribe and help us to reach our goal of 100,000 subscribers so you don't miss that coverage. Speaking to more than a 1,000 invited guests and fans on the brand packed into the sprawling facility for the Tesla called the Cyber Rodeo late Thursday, Elon Musk said the plant will produce at least 500,000 vehicles annually by next year. So that's a very quick ramp up of production. That's not what we're seeing at Gigab Factory Berlin, uh, but maybe there are other issues there and I will have coverage on that as well. Initially, it will make Model Y hatchbacks with the hard edge Cybertruck pickup going into production next year, along with a new version of a Roadster, sports car and Tesla Semi. The Model Y line will be the highest capacity line I think of any line in the world. In fact, I'm confident it will be Musk dressed in a black hat, black sunglasses and black Giga Texas t-shirt told attendees. Half a million units a year in a single factory of one product is the biggest dang thing in the world. This will be the highest volume car factory in America, said Elon Musk. The Texas plant opens as the outlook for Elon Musk's company has never been stronger. As climate change worries and rising oil prices boost demand for electric vehicles. When fully ramped up the Austin factory with Tesla's new Giga Berlin plant, its fast growing Shanghai Giga factory and Fremont, California plant could give the company capacity to build about 2 million electric vehicles annually within the next few years. That's more than double what Tesla produced in 2021. Opened in less than two years since the start of construction, the Austin factory is the second new Tesla plant in a month, as I said, following the delayed opening of Giga Berlin in March. Both facilities are a major step for a car maker, mar car maker that's still less than 20 years old and will likely help Tesla maintain its current status as the world's top electric vehicle manufacturer for the foreseeable future. Still, the company's growth may be restrained this year by an ongoing shortage of computer chips and greater competition for the raw materials needed to make batteries from automotive rivals. Uh, water is also a concern for both the Austin and Berlin plant, says Forbes. And in fact, I hear it's first time that water is a concern for the Texas uh, Giga factory as well. Unlike Tesla's original Fremont plant, which consists of multiple separate buildings, Giga Texas 
is one massive facility housing all manufacturing operations under one roof, including a new battery line that will make packs on site for vehicles built there. In total, the facility is 338 miles cubic feet or 15 city blocks, Elon Musk said. It's equivalent to three pentagons. Can you believe equivalent to three pentagons? In addition to building vehicles, Elon Musk said the plant will also produce the Optimus humanoid robot as early as next year, a product that Musk has frequently tooted since unveiling it in the form of person. The new multi-billion dollar Texas plant is designed for maximum efficiency and will make vehicles using mainly three major components. A rare portion made from a single casting, a battery pack that's designed as the vehicle's structural undercarriage and front section also made from a single metal casting. Friends, as I was reporting about the new humanoid robots, does it make you a little bit concerned that we're getting so many robots around our lives and like in Gigafactory in, in, in Shanghai, we see robots going and telling people to stay at home and kind of monitoring our lives. Uh, is this creepy a little bit for you? I would like to hear your opinion on that. I am not fully comfortable with this. Anyway, let's move on. So just like with modern airplane, airplanes where the wing is a fuel tank in wing shape with the new Model Y architecture, the battery cells themselves carry load. That results in a car that is lighter, a small number of parts cost less and improves the crash performance. So it's a safety advantage too, Elon Musk said. It's a revolution in car manufacturing to basically make a car out of three major parts. Shares of Tesla, the world's most valuable car maker with a market cap of more than 1 trillion rose 1.1% to $1,057.26 in Nasdaq trading on Thursday. This is a very exciting time for Tesla. I spoke about the batteries, you know, Tesla's production 4680 battery cells debuted at the Giga Texas Cyber Rodeo event. According to materials posted in Cyber Rodeo Factory Tour, Giga Texas is fully equipped to assemble Tesla's 4680 structural battery pack at full scale. This is indeed exciting. Here is what um, uh, they, 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 they said. Made at Gigafactory Texas, our new tablets 4680 cells lowers the cost per kilowatt hour. We have everything we need under one roof to produce and assemble the first high volume structural battery pack using our fully integrated process, stated one of the Tesla's infographics in the Cyber Rodeo factory tour. This is very exciting. What do you think about all of these developments, all of these uh, ways Tesla builds Gigafactory at Austin and manufactures cars? I think Gigafactory Austin is a new product of Tesla. And I will not be surprised if by the end of the year, Tesla may announce at least another new Gigafactory somewhere in the world. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and please help us to reach our goal of having 100,000 subscribers. And I would greatly appreciate that let me know your opinions and comments in the comment section below friends have a wonderful day and look for my next reports i have battery reports detailed 4680 battery reports i have casting reports from giga texas and a couple of very important things coming today have a blessed day peace be to the world and to all of us